and you know what, no matter what materialistic items you may have and the amount of money you have in your bank and the amount of success and influence and power you've generated with your endeavors in your life and the activities that you've explored, everything's so fragile. It really doesn't mean anything, you know, it really doesn't. So the connection, the, the long lasting memories, you sitting here and having the cameras on us, yeah. well, we get to have this conversation. These are the, the things that ultimately last. And uh, it's amazing that you guys are doing the podcast and giving people a platform. Yeah. Because I've heard so many amazing stories um, from people that probably wouldn't have been heard on this podcast. And if it wasn't for this podcast, people have, you know, they wouldn't have learned those lessons. They wouldn't have learned from the mistakes of others. They wouldn't get a perspective into people's lives that live maybe a kilometer away from them here in Edmonton. So it uh it really illuminates and it really shows the amount of amazing people that are within your 25 kilometer radius yeah. you've got to find them you've got to you've got to seek them out and you know just because you know there's role models everywhere right but you want to find the people that you can talk to physically you can reach out to and uh kobe touched all of us in a way that I'm sure nobody ever has. He was like that uh, tantalizing figure, that tenacious competitor that really grinded and got to where he wanted to be. He wasn't a first he wasn't a first overall pick. He was thirteenth. Thirteenth overall, right? Yeah. You didn't expect him to be the greatest player of all time. And uh that's the, he's in that conversation now. Yeah. Officially. And he's been there. During his career, people were looking at that. The man had ruptured his Achilles. One of the most devastating and painful injuries that a basketball or athlete can go through. And what did he do? He took that free throw and he hit it. And then, you know, after that, he recovered for, for a full year. Just, uh, just that attitude. After winning five championships, he decided to take that free throw, right? And it was, I think it was, uh, it just showed that it was greater than him. Despite how painful that might have been, mentally and physically, knowing that you ruptured your Achilles and knowing probably in that moment that I'm not going to be playing basketball, you know, for the next year. He had a straight face. He took that free throw. He hit that free throw. And then he didn't even, he didn't even grimace. He got off the court and moved on. And uh, that was his personality. That's that's that was a defining moment in my relationship with Kobe from like an outside view. Yeah, I gained like a complete new appreciation and respect for him because it was frustrating. All those years he was torching the raps. Yeah, he, he dropped eighty one. I was a kid when that happened. I remember watching that game. Like, you guys are gonna let this happen? <laughs> you guys are yeah. gonna let this happen? Yeah, this guy's gonna do this to you. But just. uh just absolutely devastating yeah and he he had lived such a prosperous and amazing life in 41 years and showed you what you can accomplish even if you accomplish a fraction of what he did that's a life worth living facts and that doesn't necessarily have to be in athletics or in the nba you know that could just be in whatever you do Mm -hmm. if you're a teacher show that passion show up to work every day knowing that you're going to make a difference in somebody's life. And, and, and that's what he'd done. 